Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cool pendant light out of a vintage industrial, you know what, I don't even know what this is. I think it's a filter. It has this mesh metal in there, so I think that's what it was at one time, but anyways, I saw this at the vintage market days, I thought it was super cool. Only 10 bucks, so I bought it, and I searched the internet trying to figure out how to make this into a light, and I couldn't find anything that wasn't lame, so I'm trying to figure it out by myself. So after looking all over the internet and Lowe's, I finally found this at Lowe's. Okay, this is, um, if you can see it, a mini pendant fitter. The reason why I wanted this attachment piece is because it has the standard base, the threaded base, with the socket ring. Now this was important if I didn't want to go through a huge amount of effort doing this. And I looked everywhere and I, and I did find this at Lowe's. So um, I think it was about 10 bucks for this whole kit. Comes with this that um, attaches to the ceiling, which I needed. Um, and the base and the ring. So also I did find this vintage light at Lowe's, which super excited about because it's huge and I wanted a big light bulb for my light. So first of all, I am gonna have to drill a hole in here. So, and I don't know how that's gonna go. I hope it goes good. So I'm gonna go out the garage, drill this hole, and I'll be back. Okay, so here we cut a hole in the metal with a hole saw, and now we take the socket end and we just thread it through. So it's in there. We take the socket ring and we just put that on. See? And now it's held up. Now let's go install it on the ceiling. Okay, there's our light. I had to make it short. I had to cut off a bunch of extra wire and make it shorter so the door didn't hit it. But I think it turned out super cute. Let's turn it on. Whoa! Look at that. Woohoo! It's all done.